Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the link. My name is Nick with NorCal Rod and Reel. Today we're going to be doing episode number two of the Just the Tip series. So as you can probably tell from the title and also last week's video, uh, these types of videos are going to be uh, really short, concise, uh, kind of how-to videos, review videos to help you guys save time and hopefully spend more time on the water. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to transport your tackle. Now, I see a lot of people whenever I go out fishing and also too throughout YouTube, other different fishing shows, um, really not efficiently managing the way that they're transporting their tackle. I wanted to advocate and give you guys a reason why investing in a very, very good, small, medium sized tackle bag is going to be advantageous for you. Uh, just going out on the water, I see a lot of people too that they're bringing, you know, things in plastic bags, which is totally fine. They're bringing their backpack, they're bringing other bags, and they don't have a designated tackle bag with them. There's a lot of problems that you can run into with those things. Now, if you use those things, totally fine. Keep fishing. As long as you're out there fishing and, and you're catching fish, who's to tell you guys to do anything different? If you want to spend less time fidgeting and figuring out what you want to take, uh, how you're going to fish with your tackle that you're planning on bringing, and also too, uh, keeping track of everything that you got. This is one of the best options that you have. Reason being, a small to medium sized tackle bag like this is something, that, especially that's good for new anglers, you guys can grow into your tackle arsenal and have a good place to store it. And for experienced anglers to really focus and target on bringing only what you need and nothing that you don't. Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking this down for you guys, uh, just my bag, uh, how I have it set up, and also to talk to you guys about some of the pros and cons for investing in one as opposed to, uh, you know, having a soup kitchen in your backpack of hooks in the front pocket and random lures everywhere and one tackle box of just a, a hodgepodge of stuff in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's break down into this bag really quickly and I'll give you guys some final thoughts. Okay, guys. So what you're going to notice here is in your main compartment. On top, you have this elastic webbing. It's great if you bring a jacket, if you have other soft plastics or things like that when you're out fishing to quickly and easily stow them away. Um, I've used it many times for both of those things. Uh, whenever I have something out that I'm using and I wanna keep reusing it, especially when it comes with the soft baits. And also too, if I'm out fishing and it's cold and I wanna take take my jacket off and not just throw it on the ground, and leave it there, you can put, uh, put it underneath there. When you open up this bag, okay, first thing you're gonna see is this zippered pocket. Now I keep all my soft plastics in there, it's easy for me. Um, typically before I go out, it's easy. I can go ahead and pull out what I want, uh, what I don't want, and put what I do want in. Next you're gonna see here, you have four different Plano 3600 tackle boxes. Here I have two different colors. Two of them are Plano, two are actually Flambeau. Reason being is they mean different things. So the blue ones are all my hard baits, the red ones are all my top water, jigs, any type of swim bait and other different different lures that I'm going to bring that are uh, that are not hard baits. With these, the nice thing is, is I can go ahead and automatically, without even thinking, you know, I only have two options for my hard baits, but I have one with my jerk baits, one with my uh, my crank baits. I have another one that has my top water and also all my jigs, and this one has all my swim baits and some more top water. Um, the nice thing is, there's some other thinner boxes. Uh, you can fit probably two of those thin slimline ones in here. Uh, if you took one of the boxes out, so you could really have up to five different tackle boxes in here. Um, it's great because for this specifically, I have all my bass stuff in here. But um, if I want to switch it out for salmon, trout fishing, etc., I can easily replace these boxes really quickly with something else that I've already organized and boom, pack it up, I'm ready to go. The next thing you guys are going to notice are these side pockets. So on this side here, I keep some forceps. I always have these with me. This is a, if I need to get a, a, you know, a hook that's hard to reach out, or also too, if I'm dealing with a species where I can't really get into its mouth, it's great to have, also a good tool. In here, in this pocket, I don't have it in here, but I have, uh, really quickly, a um, multi-tool and also my line cutters. So there's plenty of storage. You can fit, you know, a lot more into this pocket if you wanted to. Uh, typically, if I got the space, I'll put, you know, wallet, keys, etc. in there. So let's go ahead and let's flip this box around to the other side and show you. Now, on my other side, another little um, side holder here. You can put another forceps, flashlight, whatever else you might need. In this one, I keep my leader line and also to an extra spool of line. Uh, multiple times, I've actually had to re-spool my reel from here and it works in a pinch. So that's also a nifty trick 
um, that you can utilize with this box. The next thing here is um, in the tackle box, it's gonna come with the smaller front compartment where I keep all my terminal tackle. Now this is specifically for my bass fishing. I got my shaky heads, weights, uh, different swivels, snap swivels, all the different size hooks that I'm gonna be using. And then on top of that in here, you can see I have my fishing license, a couple of these little elastic bands to go ahead and put other tools in. I have a knife in there because it's good to have a knife whenever you go fishing. And also too, they have this uh, other little attach point. So you can, you can clip keys or whatnot in there. And the last thing, on this bag is this back compartment that's open so it's webbed it's easy storage you know for whatever you're going to use personally in there i always keep my um my fishing grippers you know for any type of species where i can't thumb anything just like with the forceps it's just good to have so that way i have the right tool that i need when i when i need it to make sure that i'm handling the fish safely and also to Probably the most underrated thing in people's tackle arsenal is a tube of super glue. You're gonna be fixing a lot of different things once you start fishing a lot more and it also helps too with some tips and tricks with soft plastics, but I won't get into that today. But anyways, that's what I keep back here, but you can also store obviously a ton of different things back here. So as you can tell guys, there's a lot of versatility with a bag like this. The biggest advantage I feel to this is it keeps things organized. It gives you enough options to bring plenty of tackle with you. And on top of that too, it keeps things safe. That's something I think I haven't heard other people talk about, but specifically, you know, you're gonna be rough when you get out there sometimes with your tackle boxes and your actual tackle because you just wanna fish. There's plenty of times where I've gone out there, I got everything rigged up on the rod, and I go ahead and I just drop the, the bag and first cast out without even thinking about it. Nice thing is I don't even need to worry about it. This is a hard bottom. So it's not like I'm throwing the bag down, but I know that if you're fishing with, you know, another bag that's loose, doesn't have a hard bottom, or you got keep all your tackle in your backpack, there's definitely the chance that you're going to break those boxes, which are not inexpensive, and you're going to have tackle elsewhere. Not only that, too, having backpacks and uh, other bags that aren't designated to really fit things well just leads to a big soup kitchen and no one likes a soup kitchen you want to keep things organized the last thing you want to do is is reach down into your bag to try to find your pliers and get barbed by a hook um, so definitely worth the investment it's it's a great thing to have it's going to force you to really think about what you want to bring at all times and also give you guys enough to uh to fish a lot of different styles and cover a lot of different bodies of water whenever you go out by making this either a well-rounded box or, or a well-rounded bag or something that's more specific and targeted. It's really, it's up to you however you want to make it. Something you should definitely invest in if you're a new angler. If you're an experienced angler, I'd love to hear what you guys use. If there's another box that you think has some better features that you think it would help other people, it'd be great to get a conversation started below. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate your support and, uh, and watching the video. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon in a couple more of these Just the Tip videos. I also got an exciting video coming up at the end of uh, October for some Halloween fishing, so stay tuned for that. That one should be actually a lot of fun. If you liked this video, please give it the thumbs up. Please also subscribe. I'm excited to start doing the series and really get you guys' input in it too. There's a lot of knowledge out there that we can all share. Hopefully I can use the series as a way to help you guys sift through a lot of that noise and get you guys really on the water faster. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to end this episode. I will see you guys soon. 